hello again friends welcome back to my channel god bless you so much for clicking on the video again today to hear what the lord would have us know my name is sharon thank you to my old subscribers and new subscribers and if you're just walking past please kindly subscribe and click the notification bell just so you know when next i upload a video thank you so so much i'm grateful that you make out time to click on my video and even watch them thank you so much i'm grateful today i have a word for someone and i pray meets you well um, this is to that one person that um, you have been through this specific trial. That one person who have been betrayed. Betrayed in friendship, betrayed in relationships that um, would have led to a marriage of self and um, your word just ended. <laughs> I'm trying very hard to find the right word for this message. But you are that person who has been betrayed in a friendship, relationship, and your word ended. Yes, this is your word today. The Lord would have me tell you, forget the former things. Forget the former things. It pains, it hurts. We know. <laughs> we all know that that situation is one is one situation that hurts deeply. We know. But today this message is for you. I don't know where or what you have been through. A lot of us have gone through it at different times in our lives. And um, today... I missed all the messages I have in mind. The Lord was making reference to this one. Um, and I pray that however he helps me speak it to you, may it get to you. And may you be healed of that situation. And may you hear him. Yes. He said, forget the former things. Behold, I will do a new thing. When the Lord says, forget the former things, he is telling you, take your eyes off it. I'm going to read a scripture for us. And it's in the NIV version. Just so you understand the emphasis of this same scripture I just quoted. It said in Isaiah 43 verse 18 in NIV version. It says, forget the former things. Do not dwell there. Mm -hmm. That's the message don't dwell there when you keep looking at the person you've lost the things you've lost in that relationship you would never ever go anywhere you keep watching it you keep thinking about it you keep talking about it you keep making reference to it you begin to stall the person online you begin to stalk rather the person online you begin to everywhere they go you monitor them everything they do you just keep tab on them you will not move forward with your life yes the lord is coming today with this word as much as i can put it together to deliver the message to you the lord is saying forget the former things he said consider it i'm going to read another scripture say consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds that is a trial that situation is a trial but the bible is saying count it all joy you, didn't, you, you don't know what God delivered you from. You don't know what God is about delivering you from. We are in certain relationships and friendships that is enemic at enmity to the will of God and to the ways of God. And when it happens that um, we end up um, losing that relationship, we still keep hanging on to it. Whereas God, does, God just detached you from what will not serve his ultimate goal for you. Hear you the word today. Forget the former things. 
you can see I'm trying very hard to find the words to use <laughs> because that situation is one situation people don't really like to hear let go because they always want to say yes God said you are both coming back you are both uh, going to get married I am not here to do that today if it has happened if there is a betrayal there is a breakup already there is a stormy season in that relationship and all things are pointing to the fact that it's about to end the Lord is saying forget the former things forget them when God says forget them in his own way and in his own time there might be restorations later or there might be new beginnings but the ultimate goal is that at the end of the day when you look back mm, you will begin to say okay lord thank you that you allowed me go through this thank you that you took this from me because what god will later give you will be far better than what you lost but he just says do not dwell there don't dwell there some of us lose these friendships or relationships and our lives end we don't even care to know what god wants us to do we don't even care to know what where god wants to take us we don't even care to know how else to live and god does not want your life dependent on another person in that manner where you lose focus on every other thing that counts except them you are no longer in a relationship i perceive that is a bondage on its own so to this one person this word is for i pray you forget the former things if it's in god's will that they will come back to you if it's in god's will that that friendship that relationship will ultimately end where you thought it will end god will still make it happen but don't dwell there don't dwell in the hurt. don't dwell in the pain don't dwell in that sorrow before you make five conversations with somebody you just met you talk about your boyfriend before you make two conversations with someone else you talk about your girlfriend that betrayed you it's not healthy at this point begin to channel that energy to the things of god and trust me god is not unfaithful he's not unjust he will reward you god has rewarded many he has done it in my life i can't testify countless times at different times maybe not relationships maybe other kind of trials but god is faithful if you if you lost something if for any reason something didn't turn out the way it should uh, you are that person that have flaunted this relationship before everybody you were too sure you were too certain it was going to work and it ended up not working so now you are so ashamed to even face those people you told about this person who you sang this person's praises to the word is saying today forget the former things don't dwell in it don't dwell they don't remain they don't keep scratching the surface don't keep scratching it if you keep looking at it you're going to keep remembering the heart dedicate your attention and your time now to the things of god and god will now on his own begin to align the right friendships the right relationships and even if he's going to bring back that same person later he may have worked on them to the point where they are now befitting of you or you befitting of them god can still do it he's faithful he's that faithful so to this one person that is still dwelling in the past i pray for you right now by the help of god by the grace of god and in the name of jesus may you find the courage to leave the former things right now and begin to focus on new things begin to focus on the new beginnings or the restorations god will be bringing your way in the time to come by aligning yourself with the will of god i pray for you right now courage 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 receive it in the name of jesus i know it is painful i know it is a difficult situation a difficult place to pass but may the lord give you the courage to do what you ought to do so that you can see the new thing coming so that you can see the restoration coming even when that restoration comes you even be more matured than you are right now and be able to handle them the way you should I pray that this word meets you well.
God bless you, my friends. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.